What's up guys, my name is Hafo and thank you for watching my last tutorial and I obviously got a good amount of likes on that one, so thank you for that. As I promised I would do the lens tutorial where the lens like flies back. Well, it doesn't fly back, like the screen like blares into that sort of uh, ball thing and it looks awesome, I don't really know how to describe it. As you can see there it is there. So he shoots and it kind of fits the scope nicely, the lens, and then, yeah, they just blares into the next, into the Twixter. So I'll show you how I did that now. I just gonna remove the previous lens I had. As you can see, what I've done is, well, after the shot, I simply just Twixted that, and uh, yeah, I have also added a black solid here for when the blends happens. B uh, basically, what I've done is. I've I've just added a black solid underneath the clip which I'm going to use the lens on. This is so when I do the lens because it cuts out the rest of the clip. Uh it cuts out the sides and if it's not got a black solid underneath, it'll just be like a plain. It'll just look really weird. So this black solid is what we need. Um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the clip that I want to obviously use the lens on and I've just split mine. So what what mine is mine's where the shot occurs. Um you can do yours anywhere. But that's just where I'm doing mine. I'm gonna switch that one off. So I'm gonna start the lens there, as you can see. And I'm just gonna drop down this one so it's open. And I'm just gonna open my Twixter as well so I can see quite when to apply the lens. Okay, so we're gonna go effect Oh, I need to click on that. Effect. I think it's um just trying to find it, I can't quite remember what it was called. What it was under even. Um it's not generate, is it? No. <laughs> oh god, this is annoying. I had it earlier and I can't remember what it was called. I know what it's obviously called. I'll just type it in here. Lens. It's a, a CC lens. There it is. So you, it just it's under it's under distort. I didn't. I forgot about that. So uh, you just type in CC lens on the side, or you can look for that in distort and drag that onto your clip. Uh, now what we want to do is drop down there, and then we're going to keyframe the center. No, the, no, sorry, the size and the convergence. I believe. Have a look, see what that does. Okay, so yeah, it's just the size we want to keyframe for now. So I'll keyframe that at 100. Whoa, what just happened there? Um, just undo that. Right. So you keyframe the size at a oh, 50. So then we're going to go to where we want to end this, um, which is here, I believe. And we're just going to make the size up to 500. So that means that um, between them two keyframes, what it does is it goes from 50, from like the little ball, which it was previously at, to this, to just the regular screen. Um, this works with color corrections as well. Very nicely, actually. Um, and you just obviously have to make a second layer where you want your color correction at. So let's just see what I can do here. You just um, obviously set your keyframes where you want the regular clip to come back in. And I have added a lens flare. No, sorry. I've added an optical flare up there just to make it look quite... Why am I saying optical flare? It wasn't. It was a uh, a null light from the null light factory plugin. If I, if you wanted a tutorial on that, uh, you can have one because uh, it's quite a good. It's quite good, and I think you guys need to see that. Uh, I'll do one of them on another day. So yeah, that CC lens looks pretty sick. As you can see, it goes from this clip, which I show, um, and there, no, there, right. Uh, and what it does is, it, as he runs up, 
he jumps, takes the shot, and then the lens occurs. So it just there. Uh, it looks pretty sick, and you can obviously, as I said, you can change the color correction uh, to what you want in the, after the lens. So yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, please leave a like. I'm sorry if it's been a bit messy. I kind of forgot a few things. Uh, but that shouldn't matter. Uh, it's a really, really easy effect. It comes built in with After Effects. You don't even have to worry about downloading it. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did enjoy it, would you leave a like and comment what you want to see next. Thank you for watching and I hope you uh, enjoy. I've just said that, but whatever. Thanks, guys.